is a small content about the courageous women during the period of our beloved Prophet Muhammad وسلم, presented by our very own Alimans. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الله ملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد وبارك وسلم عليه Praise be to Allah and peace be upon our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. I'm here to share a few words about Zainab bin Jahsh radiyallahu anha. Assalamu alaikum Warahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu. Zainab bin Jahsh radiyallahu anha was a first cousin and the wife of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and therefore considered by Muslims to be a mother of the believers. She had been previously married to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam by adopted son Zaid ibn Haritha. Zainab radiyallahu anha father was Jahsh ibn Riyadh an important immigrant from the Asad ibn Khuzaima tribe who had been settled in Mecca under the protection of Umayyah clan her mother was Umayya bin Abdul Muttalib a member of Hashim clan of the Quraysh tribe and sister of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam's father hence Zainab radiyallahu anha and her five siblings were the first cousins of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam Zainab radiyallahu anha was said to be a quick to lose her temper but also quick to calm down. She was a skilled tanner and leather worker. She continued with this line of work throughout her life even after she no longer needed the money. The name of her first husband was not known but he had been died by 622. At the time of Zainab radiyallahu anha who had become a Muslim was among those who accompanied her brother Abdullah on the Hijrah to Medina. About 625 Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam proposed to Zainab radiyallahu anha that she marry his adopted son Zaid ibn Haritha. Zaid had been born into the Kal tribe but as a child he had been kidnapped by the slave traders. He had been sold to a nephew of Khadija radiyallahu anha who in her turn had given him as a wedding present to her husband Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. After some years Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam had manumitted Zaid and had adopted him as his son. Zainab radiyallahu anha supported by her brother Abdullah at first refused the proposal on the grounds that I am a widow of a Quraysh. They mean that Zainab radiyallahu anha's social status was too high to allow her to marry an ex-slave. It has been asserted that these social differences were precious the reason why Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam wanted to arrange a marriage. It has also been suggested that he wanted to establish the right to equal treatment of the adopted. Zainab radiyallahu anha acquiesced and married Zaid. Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam personally paid the dower of 160 dirhams in cash, a clock and a wheel, a coat of armor, 50 mud of grain and 10 mud of dates. But the marriage lasted less than 2 years. The 9th century historian Al-Tabari gives two independent accounts of a visit that sallallahu alaihi wasallam paid to Zaid's house. The hasp in curtain that served as Zaid's front door was blown aside accidentally. The wedding Zainab radiyallahu anha dressed only in her shift. Zainab radiyallahu anha arose to her dress herself advising Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that Zaid was not at home but he has welcome to visit. However he did not enter he exclaimed that to himself praise be to Allah who turns hearts around and then departed. When Zaid came home Zainab radiyallahu anha told him what happened. Zaid went to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam saying that Prophet I have heard about your visit perhaps you are my Zainab so I will divorce her Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam replied no fear to Allah and keep your wife after this there was conflict between the couple however the story had been rejected by most muslim scholars mainly because of its lack of having any chain of narration and its complete absence from any authentic hadith Some commentators have found it absurd that Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam would suddenly become aware of Zainab radiyallahu anha's beauty one day after knowing all her life 
If her beauty had been the reason for Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to marry her, he would have been married her himself in first place rather than arranging her marriage to Zaid. Zaid divorced Zainab radhiyallahu anha in December 626. Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam married Zainab radhiyallahu anha as soon as her waiting period from her divorce was complete on March 27, 627. Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam gave Zainab radhiyallahu anha a dower of 400 dirhams later he held a wedding banquet for her and slaughtered a sheep Anas ibn Malik radhiyallahu anhu said they were over 70 guests and that none of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam's other wives given such a large banquet After Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam's death Zainab radhiyallahu anha never left Medina again She was a widow for 9 years during which time she narrated 11 hadith She continued to work at tanning and leather crafts and she gave away all her profits in charity. After her death, her heirs did not find even a single coin in her house. Zainab radhiyallahu anha died during the caliphate of Umar radhiyallahu anhu in the summer of 641. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. Being the first of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam's widow to die after him. She was 53 years old when she died. May Allah be pleased with Zainab radhiyallahu anha and shower his mercy upon her. Amen. Wa akhir da'wana anil hamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu.